Okay, and I'd like to uh, give a brief introduction about this project. Uh, it's Scheme Workshop, so I implement a Lua Transpiler in Scheme, so actually it's all about Scheme. Um, and I can uh, briefly introduce myself. Uh, actually, I'm not an academic person. I'm a I'm an engineer in the industry, and I do some uh, compiler research in my part time. And this is uh, uh, originally this is a fun, uh, this is a project for, for ju just for fun, uh, and I made it since 2013 in my part time. Uh, but now I think it's more like a serious project because I'd like to use it in a, in a product. I would like to introduce. Uh, I I'd like to introduce another project of mine. Uh, it's called GNU Artanis. Maybe uh, if you want to use Scheme to write a uh, website, you may need it. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, about me. Okay, uh, I'm a GNU hacker and uh, uh, an independent researcher. And sometimes I I do some uh, research. And I, uh, now I'm living in China. And about this project, uh, as I said, it's started from uh, 2013, and mostly it's done by my job. And uh, for now, it's just one more project, but I'd like to organize a community later. Uh, what it has now, 99% uh, of uh, Lua 5.2 version, uh, compa compatible syntax. And uh, I've added some basic standard libs, and I extended some, uh, extended some grammar. Um, for now, you can import the existing uh, scheme modules from, uh, I mean, if, if you can use it in GNU Guy, you can use it in Jilua. And uh, of course, I implemented the modules. Uh, what it doesn't have now, uh, I need more libs. And uh, of course, we need full featured meta table, uh, which means you can, you can uh, use, uh, you, you can create a method overload just like what you do in C++. And uh, uh, you can use, uh, you can create coroutines. I think we can easily implement coroutines in uh, GNU Gaia uh, specific languages because it has uh, delimited continuations. And for now, there are some bugs. But fortunately, in my demo, I think uh, it's bug free. <laughs> Just a matter of time. If I have some time, I can finish it. And about GNU Gaia, uh, first GNU Gaia can be uh, just a scheme language implementation. It contains most SRFIs and it's support to up to R7 RS and well supported about POSIX and threading, good threading support and delimiting continuations for high, co con high concurrent server design. Actually, I've used it in my GNU Artanis uh, server call. And I've used it in the real product, so it's stable. And, um, but actually, Gaia can be treated as a platform to implement languages, just like Chair Scheme. So, uh, because uh, this project is uh, a little bit old, so uh, I didn't do it in Chair Scheme, but it's still possible. Uh, and actually, Gaia also has an AOT compiling its work in progress. And there are some existing multi-language front ends, include my Lua. And uh, as I see, uh, there is a Python 3 front end on it. 
and the, at least one is is mature enough, I think, could be used for uh, guy of virgin Emacs. Uh, okay, this is an oversimplified view of Gaia compiler tower. Uh, briefly, you can just compile your, your code to tree year and uh, let Gaia do the rest of the part. But actually, you, you still can compile your code to CPS directly. Uh, for tree year, it's uh, as expression like uh, intermediate pre presentation. So it's relatively easier to, to be handled. Okay, uh, Jilua means Gaia Lua. Actually, Gaia has a Lua, uh, had a Lua front end, but it's a bit old, and I rewrite it uh, from scratch, and I use uh, LALR1. So, uh, relatively easier to add new language features. Uh, basically, this is a simple architecture of Jilua right now. Okay, uh, just like any classic uh, compiler design. Uh, the only difference is that you have to compile your code to tree ear. But before, before you compile to tree ear, you may add an analyzer. So you may add uh, some special IR for some checkings or sp specific uh, optimizing. Okay, uh, the original Lua code looks like this, and the AST uh, looks like this. And finally, you convert it to the tree ear. Okay, more complex, but uh, you may just leave the, the rest of the optimizing to Gaia platform, but actually you may do specific optimizing before it. Uh, it's flexible. Okay, let's do some loving code part. Uh, maybe I, maybe I'm speaking too too fast, okay. But uh, let's see some code. Uh, is that clear for you? It's uh, you a little dark. A uh, little dark? And a little small. Uh, okay. Oh, I forget to ask, uh, how many people here uh, have ever used Lua? Okay, so do you have any difficult to, uh, if I show some Lua code? But I think it's very easy. Okay, I always think uh, Lua is actually a scheme, but it just looks like C code. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's make it. Oh. oh. Tango light. Tango light. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> and let's open the code. Okay, first let's try try some basic expressions. Uh, 
for example, elementary arithmetic is the simplest one. Okay, uh, one plus two, uh, multiple three, and okay, it's two point five. Okay, as you may know, okay. and the string concat. Okay, hello. What? Uh, the, the double points here means concat, string concat. Okay. And for Lua, uh, a little bit look like uh, JavaScript. You can do this kind of uh, arithmetic operation on both strings and numbers. Although I don't like it, but <laughs> someone like it. Okay. Yes. And okay, let's see some some complex okay functions. Uh, the functions in in Lua, uh, the variable arguments in Lua expressed with three dots. Okay, you may just pass the three dots to another function. So let's try it. Uh, in, in Lua, uh, the special part is that if you pass multiple arguments to its primitive function print, it will print uh, like this. Okay, uh, it's, it's standard. Okay. So, uh, there is a tab between them. Okay, it's it's specific defined by Lua. Although Lua is not standard uh, uh, standardized, uh, I think there is something uh, could be confirmed. So I just follow these conventions. Um, and let's see a more complex one. What if you pass a variable argument and you want to do something with it? As I said, we use Lua 5.2 syntax. So Lua 5.2 provides these. Uh, it supports uh, to convert uh, variable arguments to a table. So uh, you can use a double uh, brace braces to quote it uh, to include to include it and you may use it just like uh, a table so let's try it. okay it prints what any questions just basic uh, syntaxes if you're not so familiar with the Lua code maybe you can ask okay And in Lua, uh, there is something like format, string format in, how to say, uh, just like in Python 3, you have to format the string first, then uh, try to print out. Uh, here, I have to do some specific fix because the string, the primitive library uh, named string in Lua is conflict. I mean, the naming is conflict with Gaia, so we have to remove the existing Gaia uh, modules to clean it to make sure everything is okay. I'll fix it. I'll fix this feature later. Uh, this required the the upstream of Gaia to support it. We have to run this before we get into Lua language. Okay, so we can require 
stream. Actually, uh, this this require is not uh, not required in uh, original Lua, but we have to uh, do it explicitly. Okay, uh, please just ignore this syntax error. It means uh, <laughs> okay. It's actually not a bug. It, it means okay. You know, it prints a lot of uh, semicolons here, and the reader doesn't support it. Okay, it's just complain. But actually, we can if we compile it seriously and install it, and this will not happen. Okay. Maybe some bugs. Let's see if we are lucky enough to see it. Okay, just like this, uh, you have to f format this string and uh, to pass the arguments, and it will return a special format, so you can just print out. Ah, okay, we are lucky. <laughs> it had some bugs, but today it's lucky. <laughs> yeah. When you are writing a compiler, <laughs> you have to be lucky. <laughs> Especially for the boost wrapping one. Okay, let's see loops. Uh, okay. Where the curse okay. and tables. Uh, let's define th three tables and uh, each one inside another one, and just like this, so that we can. Uh, if we w if we do this, we can define functions with kind of uh, namespaces. Lua used this way uh, used this method to to implement the namespaces. Okay, and uh, I'll define another one, and I will tell you why I do this, there is something different. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, we define this function with a, a colon. But actually we can define it with a point. I mean, a dot b dot c dot foo. But we define it as a colon, with column, because they are different. That's uh, actually one of the caveats, I, I think, in Lua language. But uh, maybe l the people from Lua community doesn't accept it. Oh, OK. Actually, it does work, but it, it quits. Uh, what, I'm, what I've done here is to just print out the self. OK. If you, if you define the function with colon, it will pass self uh, from the first argument as a hidden argument. And in the original Lua, it will just print the table and its uh, address. But in Lua, uh, in glua, we will just print out the, uh, okay, the implementation uh, information. Actually, we implement the Lua table with a scheme hash table. Okay, but if we let this representation of C or A? Uh, I'm sorry. Is this the encoding of C or A? It should be uh, C, right? Uh, Jilua. Uh, it's all in scheme. I can show you later. No, no, no. The table named A and the table named C above. Yeah. So is self A dot B dot C? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you mean the the self of the table? Yeah. So here you return self. Uh, yes, self the nearest one. B dot C, is that right? Yes, the, the nearest one. Okay. It's C. Okay. okay. So then it says size is one. Uh, 
Is that part of the internal implementation? Or uh, the size is one. Uh, it's the uh, okay. The size with one means this table has a f uh, one element. That's the defined function by us. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see another one. What if we define it? Uh, what if we print it out with point? Actually, all these things uh, I've described in the technical report, so I can show you later uh, a, a, a link. I mean, the wrapper of Jilua. So if you're interested in, you may take a look. Previously, we print out the self. Oh, we, print, uh, we call this function with colon. We define it with colon and we print it with colon so it will return self. But if we call it with dot and it's near, okay, it didn't bind the, the self. Okay, <laughs> not so, um, how to say, um, in the beginning I was astonished by this feature because it's hard, to, hard for me to understand. Uh, and later, I've fixed these issues. I think uh, no matter if we uh, define define with what kind of way the self should be bound, but the uh, the people from Lua community doesn't accept it because uh, I think there are many historical code and this will break the compatibility. So, uh, but they like my implementation; <laughs> they just cannot accept it. <laughs> Okay, and modules, uh, uh, let's try modules. Uh, for example, let's define a module. We can just define a module like Python. It means you can just define uh, a module in your current path. Uh, let's, I add a Lua, okay. And uh, for example, we, A, B, C, okay, uh, for example, we'll a very simple test. Uh, and let's require A, A. Okay, uh, the same <laughs> syntax error, you may just ignore it. And uh, now we can we can see there is a function we just defined. Okay, so we can just use it. Uh, let's try some special one. Uh, for Jilua, uh, we can call a module from other languages. For example, uh, as as some of you may know, the GNU, uh, GNU Artanis. How many, how many people here know GNU Artanis? Okay, just you? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I suggest you try this if you want to write a website with scheme. It contains a lot of features, uh, include error mapping and WebSocket and the database. But anyway, uh, I'd like to show something here. Okay. The point is, the point is that you may see the name convention is very different from Lua, so we have to rename it when we import. Uh, the basic idea is to convert uh, the minus to underscore and uh, the star to underscore uh, and uh, set, uh, a colon to underscore, it's easier. Okay, let's try. Uh, how does it handle if you end up with clashing names because of that conversion? Uh, clashing? Yeah, so I, I, might, I might have in my module foo colon bar and foo 
dash bar. And those are different identifiers in the scheme module. But if you're converting colon and dash both to underscore, then you end up collapsing those two functions into each other. OK, good question. Uh, I didn't think about it seriously, but uh, we can make a convention. Yeah. OK. And actually, uh, I have to mention that for this uh, front end, it's possible to port to other, other uh, framework. Mm -hmm. OK, so. <laughs> Uh, tenants. Okay, the the path naming convention is uh, again okay in in scheme it should be uh, left parent left parent alternative and uh, uh, a white space and alternative right parent. In Lua, you just need uh, a slash to okay to separate. And for this special syntax we have to specify what kind of language we need to swap, uh, import so we use a uh, scheme okay now it's done and for Atanis you have to init you have to init the server okay and uh, for example oh okay let's define a handler uh, to just uh, return hello world Okay, and let's register it. For example, hello and uh, handle. And let's run it. Okay, it's running and let's check out. Uh, hello world, hello, okay. Uh, I think most of the things are showed and okay import module from other language and continuous statement uh, I'm not sure if I have time to okay as you may know there is no continuous statement in Lua uh, and uh, Lua people doesn't care about it. Uh, I just implement it uh, because it's very easy. Uh, okay, maybe there's no much time, but okay. Let's just keep, skip it. You got about three minutes. So. Uh, okay, uh, and for the future work, okay, we can, as I said, uh, we can do some uh, specific optimizing before we convert it to tree year. And we can do type inference with certain kind of um, uh, intermediate representation, okay, and uh, actually we can generate as WebAssembly as the backend because uh, WebAssembly official text uh, format, uh, which called which is called WBT, is actually as expression, so it will be very easy, okay. And the full feature Lua standard libs and uh, more test cases. Finally, we should organize a community, no matter if it's use. No matter if it's using Gaia or any other scheme at the back end. OK. Uh, thank you. So you can contact me, and you can just try it. <laughs> OK, it's interesting. OK, uh, don't forget about uh, it's case sensitive. You have to use uh, uppercase here, or you cannot visit their link. OK, any questions? Thank you. <laughs> Let's take uh, maybe two questions. How intelligible is the output at scheme? Uh, what? How, how intelligible? Maybe uh, to, to get at another. Uh, so, so you're, you're you're taking Lua code and you're generating um, scheme intermediate code out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can that actually be like written out to a file and like used as scheme code, or only through, or only like at execution time? Uh, actually, I think you can just output it as a, a, a plain text format. So you can do some static. Uh, analyze for it. At least in my idea, it should be like that. Okay. I've got a question. So uh, there are lots of uses of Lua, you know, for scripting for game engines, for example, yeah. and also for uh, deep learning frameworks yeah. and things like that. And so uh, could you then use, you know, uh, your uh, G Lua in 
you know, those sorts of applications uh, without an issue? Or? Uh, okay. Uh, other than my web application, actually, uh, as you may know, there is a very good project named AI Scheme. It supports uh, TensorFlow and it uses Gaia. So uh, I'm one of the contributors of it. <laughs> so we, ac we can actually use Jilua for that. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, one. Um, you mentioned very, very in WebAssembly. Like, la I think WebAssembly was mentioned last year, ICP. There's a, a scheme implementation called Schism in WebAssembly. Mm -hmm. There's actually uh, partially, I guess, co-maintained now by Andy Wingo, one of the co-maintainers of God. I wondered if you had seen it yet or taken any insight from it. Uh, you mean if this could be included to the guy upstream? Well, no, no, well, more. It's a separate project. I just mean, have you seen it yet? Have you like, you know, have you seen uh, the schism compiler? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there is actually, as I said, there is actually another Lua uh, implementation, but uh, it's a bit old and no one is keep maintaining it. So that's why I try to rewrite it from scratch. Uh, the original one is using uh, LL1. Okay, I, I'm using Lala one, uh, and uh, many other things are very different from it. Okay, so I think it's it's another different project, and I, I'm doing this seriously. Okay, you can expect it to use it in the product someday. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. So uh, let's thank our speaker one more time. Thank you.